so far it's been, let's see here, I got almost 3,700 miles on the truck now. It's uh, been three months since we got this thing. Uh, so three months since we've had the truck, we got this in the early part of December. And, you know, like, like I said, it's, it's our, we're three months now with this thing. And a bit of a review, just to kind of do a show what our thoughts are, kind of a walk around talking about the truck. So our truck, the one that we have is a 2021, uh, even though we got it in December of 21. It's a, uh, it, it's a 2021 Bronco Badlands and we got the mid-level package on it. I didn't do the Lux package, but we have main thing is the Badlands. So kind of a, you know, here we are at, at, uh, um, at this time and, and, you know, with almost 3,700 miles on this thing in such a short amount of time, and we're obviously driving the thing and using it. Some of our reactions on this thing, I mean, so I am so impressed with this little truck. I mean, they Ford built a really good vehicle. I haven't beaten the truck really hard off-roading, uh, mainly because Metal Tech is continuing to test fit parts as we're developing new things for it. We haven't completely taken the truck down and, and redone the whole thing yet. Um, we have a whole bunch of stuff coming for it, but the big impressions that I'm getting, I mean, so we have the, um, the, the 2.3 four, four cylinder engine, um, specifically ordered the seven speed manual transmission. Uh, the crawling gear in this thing is unbelievable. Uh, the truck is legit got low end, uh, in high range. It's awesome in stop and go traffic. I mean, I have a manual transmission and stop and go traffic. I just use crawl mode. And so I go into crawl and I'm able to just creep along a little less than three miles an hour with traffic. The suspension that they put on the Badlands, um, I'm normally not a fan of factory suspension systems, um, but oh my gosh, they did a really good job. I mean, this, this Bilstein kit that they put on here has these little itty bitty uh, remote reservoirs on it, but it works. The truck is very stable driving on the highway. Um, and yet I can take it off road and it drives great. So, um, in stock configuration, I'm super impressed. I mean, 285 tires, I mean, come on, that's that's the stock little tiny tires, or 285s. Um, I mean, I've got 285s waiting to go on a 4Runner over here that we're doing a three inch lift on, and this is stock, so I'm loving it. It is a soft top, uh, it seals, it does a great job driving around. Um, the 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 truck itself one of my only my only complaints so far with soft top is this little rain drip rail thing here it dips down right here on the driver's side so when you're um at the uh, at the at the drive through getting your coffee or whatever and it's a rainy day it's oregon we have a lot of rain um it is dripping right here and it goes inside when the window is open close the window not a problem so i'm not complaining i'm perfectly fine with that um i have a lot of experience with soft tops over the years from FJ40 Land Cruisers. And my experience with soft tops have always been very loud, very rattly, definitely leaky. You get to highway speeds, you may have a little bit of a rubber or a water mist inside. And we have none of that inside this thing. I'm looking forward to the summer being able to yank this thing off and have some fun with it. Um, and of course, obviously pulling the doors. Getting in and out of it is awesome. The way that it handles is awesome. The little back window pop-up thing where you're able to release the latches on the side and then be able to pop the pop the top up a little bit to be able to get in a bit larger things back here very convenient little things start learning as you're using the sucker definitely needs real sliders um, the rails that it comes with just mount to the chassis chassis mounted sliders um, the chassis is the body chassis mounted sliders uh, it, I've, I, I'm not a fan of it at all. We don't want to put the stress of the vehicle. I mean, I put this thing on the scales and it's, it's like 40, you know, 50, uh, 5,700 pounds or something like that, that it tipped the scales if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that. And so we need sliders that actually can support the weight of the whole vehicle. Uh, and then some, I mean, coming down hard on it, kinetic, wham. Um, I don't want to do that to, to chassis mounted things. I don't want to stress the body like that. We have a real frame underneath here. That frame is super solid. It's right there. We can mount sliders to the frame. So we're working on that for the for Broncos. Complaints, what's my complaints? Well, you already heard my one little complaint about the little drippy spot here. The, uh, <laughs> the, the base model Bronco. 
or not base model. It's not base. It's 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 a mid package on a Badlands. Um, oh my gosh, the stereo is absolutely hor horrendous. It's terrible. It's hideous. <laughs> It's a 2021 truck. The stereo out of sound actually pretty decent. I've got a 2005 Toyota that's got an amazing stereo in it. And every time I get in that truck and I drive it while I have this one, I'm just like shocked. I'm like reminded like, oh my gosh, that's what a real stereo sounds like. Um, so that's one of my complaints with it, with the, with the truck. I, I mean, it, it's little, but come on, it's a 2021. They did, they did a great job giving us our auxiliary switches on the, as an option, a standard on the Badlands, which is great. Um, and then they have the controls up here as well. And being that this is a manual transmission truck, there is no um, line lock or, or they don't allow you to do the braking, the rear braking to go do tight turns. They don't have that feature. So we're just missing the button for it. The button's not up here. They actually just have an empty spot here. So if they're gonna have an empty spot, they're gonna take the time to make this little button system here. Just give us one more accessory that's available. Like one more thing that could be a button. Uh, what, what are we using this for? Um, I mean, I guess I could put the the key up there, I suppose. But um, it's ridiculous. That, I mean, come on, we can put something there. So that'd be one of my other complaints. When I got the truck, um, granted, I didn't put a lot of time when I was when I was placing the pre-order because it was like 19 months prior. Um, but no heated seats. <laughs> I didn't realize that that didn't come with this package. And so I'm like, wait, the top comes off, the doors come off, and it's 2021, it doesn't have heated seats? That just, I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. So um, on a, you know, $50,000 truck, it seems like heated seats would be part of the deal, but they're not. Uh, this color is called Cyber Orange. Um, I don't know about you, but it's Cyber School Bus as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, it's pretty bright yellow. At night, in the dark, with a little bit of light on it, it does look orange. I will give them that. But uh, inside of that, it's, it is a yellow truck, so which is cool. It stands out, I guess. Um, I've never had a yellow vehicle before. But yeah, there we go. There's the Metal Tech uh, 4x4s 2021 Bronco. Uh, three month, 3,700 mile review. Um, this is going to be, we're not going to see this truck looking very stock very much longer. Uh, there's some really neat parts sitting in, the, in our warehouse waiting to go on the truck. Uh, in our fab area uh, that's going to be some transformation. So appreciate it. Thanks for checking us out.